It's not Michael. Then who is it, Tanya? Look, I was just trying to get back at Mama for what she did to me. You and Tara experienced Earl. I experienced Jimmy. Genesis, go upstairs. Who, who's Jimmy? The name sounds familiar. Isn't Grandma Tammy? Now. Yes, ma'am. Mama's husband? Jenny? What? I was drunk. I bet you were, you dumb, dizzy, sloppy, slutty bitch. I have put all that behind me to make a- Tanya, you are a hoe with no boundaries or morals. What is wrong with you? Well, aren't you the cow calling the kettle black? It's the pot calling the kettle black, you dumb bitch. When mama finds out that Jimmy, her husband, is Genesis's father, that money that I was protecting from her, she now has access to legally. Oh, damn. Yeah. Why did you do that? Because mama is always ruining stuff for me. She messed up my relationship in college. I was having an affair with my professor and I was passing all my classes every time I gave him some. And she decided to go up there and get him fired. And then he didn't want to talk to me no more. He wanted to go back to his wife. And it just, it made me feel some type of way because I felt like I wasn't bothering her. I wasn't, I didn't mess up her marriage. Well, I did. I did. After she did what she did, I decided to go and mess up her marriage by having a baby by her husband. And then I got rid of the evidence. Disgusting behavior. I am ashamed to be a part of this family, let alone call you my baby sister. You are foul. I am Tammy's daughter and so are you, Tamika, whether you like it or not. She screwed all of us up. We might not be the same type of screwed up, but we're screwed up. <sighs> we can't tell mama. We cannot tell mama. We would just bury this. It never happened. As far as she's concerned, Michael, Oh my God. What's up, Ma? Hey, son. I see I missed a lot. You did, but it ain't nothing that Mama can't handle. Um, the reason I invited you over here is because I did want to share some good news with you. I, I think I got a, a bit of good news for you, too. What you got? Okay. Jasmine is moving back to Texas permanently. <laughs> and I cannot wait for y'all to get back together. Well, I gotta tell you something. You know, I really thought you and Versace were gonna work out, but I mean, we know that wasn't gonna work out. I just, I'm ready for Jasmine back because she was my piece. <laughs> she was my piece and she was good for you. And I don't want to hear it. She's the one for you. And when she come back down, I need you to go ahead and propose because I'm ready to plan a wedding. Who the hell is in my bathroom? Oh, I am so sorry. I had to use the bathroom. Hi. Ma, this is my fiance, Kenya. Kenya, this is my mom. Fiance. It is finally nice to meet you. Siobhan, every time you introduce your bitches to me, they say finally, like they been knew about me. But not once do I remember a single mention of this bitch from you. So who is this? She's my fiance, mama. You said her name was Kenya. So tell me, where did you find this country? At Zell's, where I work. And that was almost a year ago. He wanted to make sure I was actually the one before he introduced me to you. A lot of normal moms would have appreciated that. You got an attitude? Would you like to see one? <laughs> Savannah, I don't think I like her. Look, I ain't got time for this, Savon. Jasmine is coming next week, so I need you to wrap this up before she gets here. <laughs> well, I won't be wrapping anything up. King is pregnant.
Thank you for letting this happen, Tamika. Shut the fuck up. Okay. The only reason it is happening is because Genesis wanted it to happen. So what do you like to do for fun? Tanya, back the fuck up because you jump in a place that he did not give you access to. Genesis, ask your first question. Why'd you give me up? I... I was 20 years old. I was in college. I wasn't fit to be anyone's mother. And you still aren't. However, I thought I was doing what was best for you. You did. See? I knew you would understand. So, what's your favorite food? And you can continue doing what's best for me by continuing to stay out of my life. Damn. Damn. If you are not fit to be a mother then, what makes you fit to be a mother now? I'm only 37 years old. I can learn how to be a mother. Well, learn with your next kid because you lost your opportunity with me. Genesis. What do you really want from me? A chance to be your mother. My mother died. You were there when I buried her. I do have one final question for you, though, Aunt Tanya. Can you please not call me Aunt Tanya? That's who I've always known you to be, Auntie. Who is my biological father? I've never had one of those growing up. All right, Ma. This is my Christmas list for this year. Now, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. But, well, damn. And did you fall and hit your head on something? Because what type of year have you had, Kyrie? <laughs> Ma, I'll be chilling. You're the one who'll be tripping. Your grades are trash. Your mouth is reckless. And your behavior is... Top tier. Out of control. Period. Period what, Brian? I'm just saying, Mama's right. You do have a bad attitude, Kyrie. Uh, watch this. Mama, did you ever meet that boy he be sneaking in the house? What the entire fuck? Watch your damn mouth, Brian. Ma. Did you forget that you told Brian to bring that boy and his parents over so you can tell them that their son has been sneaking in your house, messing around with your son? Ma, focus on him. He is trying to change the topic. And that situation is far from over. I haven't forgotten. But I'll deal with that later. You ain't getting shit for Christmas, but a damn Merry Christmas and maybe a Christmas dinner. You know what, Mama? You sure do judge me a lot. You call it judging. I call it parenting. Hmm. What about moral compass? What about it? You clearly don't have it. Neither do you. What the hell are you talking about, boy? I'm talking about Genesis and his biological mother. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Really, mama? Really? Really, mama? You know what? I am protecting his feelings. And how the hell did you find out about that, Kyrie? Come on, mama. You and your sisters don't know how to use y'all's inside voices. I'm sure the neighbors heard y'all arguing about it, too. So Genesis was adopted? Mm, not quite. Shut up, Kyrie. When you tape that paper back up that I gave you, that you crumbled up, then I might let my top lip meet my bottom. Oh, hey. I am not your brothers. I am your mama. You will not blackmail me. I will hurt you. Yes, that is very true. But the way I'm about to sing, a canary is no match for me. I'm about to run my mouth like water if you do not comply. Kyrie, who do you think I am? That holding shit over people's head? That don't work on me. I am your mother. I have kept you alive for 16 years and I will take you out. Ah, uh, Mama, come on. You ain't got to get all inspirational on me. Just give me what I asked for Christmas and we'll be okay. Your secret will be safe with me. I ain't getting you a damn thing, little boy. You out of your simple ass mind. Hmm. I wonder what state of mind Aunt Tanya was in when she decided to give Genesis up. 
to Aunt Gabriella. Oh, wait a damn minute. Wait a, oh my God. Brian, I know how you feel about that boy, but you would not say a damn thing to that boy or I will. Let me see my new boyfriend in peace. Is, is that what you'll do? Oh, y'all both got me fucked up. What, what do I look like? Am I not y'all's mama? I am not one of y'all. Y'all not finna handle me like that. I'm just saying, if that information were to get out from me and Kyrie, I think that boy would need a lifetime of therapy. Oh, yes, I agree. And he just lost his mother, which is not his real mother. He's gonna be fucked up for life. But if you told him when you thought he was ready, then I think he'll be okay. You see, I think that is your information to tell, not ours. I guess what I'm trying to say is, we would not tell Genesis anything. If you keep us happy. This little game y'all want to play with me will not end well for either one of you. No, well, it sounds like it doesn't end well for Genesis either. But it does not have to be that way, mama. Put your pride aside and give us what we want. Let me remind y'all that I gave birth to both of y'all with no pain medication. I am your creator. Challenging me would be very dangerous. All these little tricks and shit, y'all be playing against each other. I taught y'all that. So are y'all sure y'all want to do this? Are you? Okay. As much as I can shut this down right now, I'm not ready to tell that boy this secret. So I'll play along. Kyrie, go ahead and write me up another Christmas list. And Brian, do not have that boy in my house while I am here. When I am gone, then you can sneak him over. I hope y'all are prepared for what happens when all of this is over. Because eventually, I will tell him. And after I do, I'm coming for both of y'all. Hard. Because y'all got me fucked up. So I hope y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. <laughs> Where'd my pen go? Kyrie, I think we fucked up. Stop being a little bitch, Brian. Fuck. Find me a pen. Travis, can I have a moment with my sister, please? No, you cannot have a moment in my house. You are just a guest who pays bills. You don't own shit. Travis, give us a moment. You need to start putting him in his place. Tara, don't come in my house telling me what to do with my man. <laughs> my man. Well, you never really had one, so try real hard not to lose this one. Like the several men you have lost to your teenage daughter. Oh my God, please stop. Both of you. So Tanya, tell me about Genesis. She has a right to be in her son's life. Tara, stop acting stupid. Tanya is a whore. She is not fit to be anybody's mother. Wow. Wow. Genesis is 17, Tanya. You gave him up 17 years ago. And during that time, you did not reach out to him. Now that he's borderline 18 years of age, you want to be a part of his life? Bitch, you have missed half of it. He had a mother who passed away. And I don't feel right about my older sister stepping in. I feel like it is my responsibility to step in. Tara, tell her. <laughs> I already shut you down in front of your mama. I don't know what you thought bringing your sister here was going to do. Okay, granted. Genesis is damn near grown. But what you don't know, Tamika, is that one of Gabriella's dying wishes was for him to know who his biological mother was. Oh, she didn't make that damn bullshit ass dying wish. Shut up, Tara. Yes, she did. And you need to honor it. I ain't got to honor a motherfucker. I am going to try to explain this to both you dumb, oblivious ass bitches the best way I can. I'm dumb, but I have my high school diploma, a college degree, and I'm a lawyer. You have a GED, three kids, and a nine to five. And a man who wants me and not my children. Tara, your daughter just gave birth to your granddaughter slash stepdaughter that she had with your fiance. He is not the father. Great, he still slept with her. She was lying. That is the same exact shit mama said about us with Earl. Baby, is everything all right? Can you get out, please? Don't yell at my man because you just figured out that you're a horrible mother, Tara. My man, my man. 
Damn, at least act like you've had one before, Tamika. But you're a mom who had to use her daughter to keep a man. Tamika, that is enough. You are hitting below the belt. And I don't think I'm hitting low enough. Genesis just lost the only mother that he knew, and he is still grieving. Do you think it's a good idea to tell him that the mother that he just lost was not his real mother? If you gave an ounce of fuck about Genesis, you would let him heal, and then we can revisit this conversation at a later date. Find my ass because you now have two bridges to cross. Telling Genesis that you're his biological mother and then telling my ex-husband that he might be the biological father. We will never be the same after this conversation. Tara, you're a bad mom. Start listening to your daughter when she says that your boyfriends are sleeping with her. Oh, you ignorant bitch. I cannot stand you. Then hop over this counter and whoop my ass. An impossible task to accomplish. Get the fuck out of my house, both of you. It has been a very long time since I've seen condom wrappers in my house. Until now. Ma, I don't even use condoms. Savon, this has nothing to do with you because I actually found this in Brian and Genesis' room. First of all, Mama, it is still my room. Genesis is just pest that I cannot control. Second, that is not mine. Well, if it doesn't belong to you, then it means it belongs to Genesis. Auntie, I would never disrespect your house like that. I wouldn't even have time to do anything like that in Brian's room without being caught. Me either. Ever since you forced yourself into my room, I have not been able to have any privacy. Privacy for fucking what? Just general privacy. Privacy for what? Cut the shit, Brian. I know that little boyfriend of yours has been in my house every other night. Even if that were true, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave a condom wrapper in plain sight. But you're dumb enough to sneak a boy in. Why were you in my room anyway, mama? I didn't know I needed permission to enter any room in a house that I pay mortgage you in. You technically don't pay the mortgage. Travis does. Brian LaShawn Jackson, that mouth of yours has become a problem. It's a problem because my mom has become toxic. Ma, can I use the car? <laughs> I'm toxic because I'm getting in your ass about shit. You still have a problem with me being gay. Oh, you love pulling that pathetic ass car. I don't care nothing about you being gay. I have a problem with you having underage sex in my house. You don't have no proof, mama. Genesis is the one who told me that you'd be sneaking a boy in my house every other night. So whoever this little boy is, I want you to bring him to my house with his parents so I can tell them what I found in your room. And then I can tell them where he's at every other night. I'm not doing that. You will, or I'll go up to your school and find him myself. You know, at first, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. Getting a condom, taking the condom out of the package, leaving the package on the floor for your mom to find, getting her to believe that it was yours and not mine. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off, but I did. Genesis, do you, do you got a death wish? Shut up, Savon, before I tell your mama you've been selling drugs out of her house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Then show me.
Okay. Kyrie. Who hot? You not got two pocket my Hey, auntie. I was wondering if it was possible to share a room with one of the boys. Is there something wrong with the couch upstairs? Oh, it's it's just slightly uncomfortable. You know, hurts my back sometimes. But auntie, I'm very much grateful, and I don't mean to complain. No, it's fine. I know that couch can be quite uncomfortable. Kyrie still has his bunk beds in his room, so I'm sure he won't mind. Well, I thought that maybe me and Brian can share a room because we are the same age. But then again, I don't want to mess up what he has going on every other night. What does he have going on every night? Oh, his boyfriend? He sneaks in every other night. What fucking boyfriend? Oh, auntie, I don't think I was supposed to tell you. I'm sorry. But please don't tell him I told you. That'll just make him hate me more. You know what? I think you and Brian sharing a room is a great idea. Brian! Mama, why do you be yelling? It is so unnecessary. You are not outside. You and Genesis will be sharing a room. The hell we are? Who the fuck are you talking to like that, Brian? I would knock your head off your shoulders. <sighs> Where is he going to sleep, mama? Y'all are cousins, so you will share the bed. Uh, Kyrie has a bunk bed. It would make more sense for him to sleep in his room. I'm about to get rid of Kyrie's bunk bed and buy him a single bed. Now, like I said, you and Genesis will be sharing a room. Was there anything else? I don't know. Was there? I don't know. You tell me. You called me down here. Ryan, don't get fucked up. Don't get fucked up. Go upstairs and make space for your new roommate. <sighs> okay, mama. From now on, you will be my eyes and my ears. Yes, ma'am. Now, I could have sworn I locked my doors. Brian let us in. Of course he did. Now let yourselves out. Mika. Genesis, go upstairs for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Auntie. Why are y'all here? Gabriella's death was devastating. I haven't had time to process it. You know, it happened so fast and she wasn't my blood sister, but she was my sister. Like I said, everything happened so fast and I just found out that, you know, she made you Genesis's legal guardian. So my question is, how long do you plan on keeping him? And what all does she put you in charge of? Why do you care? Your stepdaughter, you know, the one that just died and you didn't come to her funeral, she told me that if anything happened to her, that he was mine. So I'm keeping him forever. <sighs> That's fine. I don't care about all that. Where's the money she left for him? Mama, that is not why we are here. <laughs> See, I'm not stupid. I knew that you or somebody else is going to come after that money. That money is in an account that only Genesis will have access to when he turns 18. Oh, I can tell that pissed you off. You weren't expecting that. <laughs> How's your cancer? She was my damn stepdaughter, so I'm gonna need some of that damn money. Tammy, Gabriella hasn't liked you since her father, your eighth husband, died of natural causes, which is why she didn't leave Genesis with you and left him with me, because she didn't trust your trifling ass to do the right thing with that money. Tamika, you out of all people should know I don't play by my money. Now that's $300,000 that you better go get for me. Or what? Damn it, Tamika. Don't make me do something that I'm going to regret. Do what you gotta do, Tammy. But calm down. Don't upset that cancer. <sighs> Both of you, please stop. I need that money. You know what? I'm starting to wonder if anybody has actually asked you this. But what type of cancer do you have? A daughter. 
Name's Tamika. Oh, oh. well, you're going to have it a long time because there is no amount of chemo in the world that can get rid of me. Tamika, I'll take Genesis off your hands. Tanya, shut up. And what are you even doing here? What you going to do with a 17-year-old boy? I already have one, so I know what I'm doing. Genesis is fine, and he ain't going nowhere. Thank you. Let me have him. Why? What you going to do with him? Tell me why. Exactly. Shut up. Give me my child. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> what in the Talapuri is going on? You remember when you didn't see me for nine months? I wasn't ready to be a mother. And Gabriella, she couldn't get pregnant. She got a family, husband. So I let her have him. Mm. Well, you made the right choice giving him up because you clearly are not fit to be anyone's mother. And Genesis is 17. So 17 years ago when you had him, that was around the time that you slept with my ex-husband. Tanya, if I found out that you and my ex-husband have a child together, you will cease to exist. I just want my son. You ain't getting a damn thing. You will have to take me to court. And even then, you don't stand a chance, bitch. And you, you ain't getting no damn money. It ain't up to you. Oh, but it is. I'm his legal guardian. And I think both of you are starting to forget that. Don't shit move with him unless I say so. I ain't got to do shit. He's mine. Mine. Well, I'm his mother. Spell it. Go spell it. Mother. M-O-T-H-O-R. <clears throat> Get out. Tamika, this isn't over. I'm coming for my child. Spell it. Child. C-H-I-L-E-D. Oh, this is great. I want you to act just like this in court. Dumb. Tell you bring your dumb ass. To me, this isn't over. Y'all should really call before y'all come next time. All right, boys. I got y'all support cards. Um, who's first? Brian. All ace as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie, I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class. And how unfortunate that you failed that exam. I passed for flying colors though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard, is amazing. Would you mind reading my teacher's comments, Aunt Tamika? Mrs. Jackson, 
Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommend it to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average a C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class. And yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm, great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys, you both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie. There are no scores. It, there's a comment though. It says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me. I want to drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? You want to be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in? Yes, mama, I want to be just like Savon. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mama. I don't want to be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I'll tell you what. When Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you. Because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. And you're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me. Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call. Is there a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business. All right, baby, my mama's on the way over here. Travis, are you sure it's not too soon to be meeting your mom? I mean, I don't I don't necessarily have a, a good track history from, you know, meeting moms. Oh, baby, it'll be fine. Yeah, but did you tell your mom about our age difference? No, I didn't tell her anything because I wanted her to meet you and form her own judgment. See? No. Mm-mm. 
Mm -mm. Because if she does decide to judge, then I'm going to decide to react. And it won't be good for either one of us. Oh, baby, my mama would love you to show her that you're a respectful woman and you're polite. I'm not any of that. I need you to be that today because that's what I told her you were. Mom, this is my girlfriend, Tamika. Tamika, this is my mom, Ida. <clears throat> it's, it's nice to meet you. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about you. Oh, you're such a nervous little thing. It's okay. Calm down, honey. When did you meet my son? Oh, we, we met two months ago. Uh, two months ago, and he's already living with you and paying all the bills? By choice, he is. I didn't ask him to do that. This is a very large house for just two people. Do you have any children? I do. I, I have three. Three? Three. Oh, Travis, you missed that major detail. I didn't think it was that important. How old are these children? Oh, they, they grown, Mama. Define grown, and exactly how old is your girlfriend, Travis? The boys are 19, 17, and uh, 16. Oh, that's interesting. How old are you, Tamale? Who's Tamale? Oh, is that not your name? It's Tamika. What did I say? You said Tamale. Then that's what it is. How old are you? I'm 40. 40? Travis, what are you doing with this older woman? You do know my son is 35 years young with no children. Older woman? He has no business being with you. Do your children have the same father or different dads? I was married to their father. You were married. What happened? Mom, with all due respect, that's none of your business. That's personal. Oh, it's fine, Travis. It's fine. <laughs> he cheated on me and decided to unmarry me and marry her. Well, what did you do wrong? You clearly did something wrong for him to cheat on you. Mom, I need you to stop being disrespectful right now. Fine. How are your sons adjusting to my son? They're adjusting. You know what, that, that's great, that's great. Travis, he likes fixing things. You know, he I've seen him fix several women that were older than him, such as yourself. You know, women that were broken. Broken? Am I broken, Travis? I never said that. Ma, I never said that. You didn't have to. She's 40, divorced with three kids. I mean, it's a perfect project for you, Pro Travis. Project. Ma, that is not true. He will fix you, build you up, whatever you want to call it, and then he'll move on to the next broken woman for his project. Oh, Travis, don't spare her feelings. She can handle it. I mean, she's mature. And old enough to handle it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bitch. Well, wait a minute now. Don't call me a bitch. Bitch! Your son does 360s and my coochie. That is one of the reasons I allow him to stay here. Oh, does he? Your son has spent a great amount of money on me and my three kids. Another reason I allow him to stay here. Oh, has he? So I ain't nobody's fucking project. I met him at Walmart and he was flirting hard. And you know what? A bitch can get lonely at times. So I decided, I decided to let him entertain me. Is that so? It is. So when I get tired of looking at him, then he can move on to another woman. But he will only move on if I say so.
Now, did you have any other questions for me, Idaho? I'm sorry, who is Idaho? Is that not your name? No, it's Ida. Well, what did I say? You said Idaho. Then that's what it is. Travis, as you are escorting your mother out of my house, please let her know that I wasn't as disrespectful as I could have been. And I want her to appreciate that. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to enjoy watching my son leave you in pieces. I'm the type of bitch that does not like to ask twice for somebody to leave my house. Travis. Come on, Ma. It was nice meeting you. So there was an altercation between the two of you that apparently... Vanessa, who exactly told you that you were in charge of this conversation in my house? Does it matter who opens the discussion, Samika? I invited you and your daughter into my home to discuss this matter between her and Savant. So let's discuss. I am not ready to speak yet. I am still collecting my thoughts. So shut up. Girl, not you still holding on to that little tussle we got into three years ago. Little tussle. Beloved. I injured you. You went to the ER for that neck. That neck that still looks stiff today. Okay. How about you let bygones be bygones? Do I look like I'm the type of bitch to let a by be gone? Ma, y'all forgetting why we're here. You know what? I was trying to come here and not automatically point the finger. But since you want to be ignorant, you want to tell me why your son put his hands on my daughter? Miss Vanessa, that's not what happened. That is how it happened, Savon. How did I end up from one side of the room to the other? How did I end up with a busted lip? I need to know why it happened, Savon. No, what I need to know is why from the both of you. What started this? Go ahead and tell them. It doesn't matter what started it. Savon, you put your hands on my daughter. Your daughter put her hands on my son. She was defending herself. He was defending himself. Versace, did he hit you first? Yes, he did. No, I didn't. She knocked my phone out of my hand and then she choked me, Mama. I wouldn't lie to you. Mama, I wouldn't lie to you. He hit me, so I hit him back. Describe how he hits you and how it made you fly across the room. You know what? I do not like the way you are questioning my daughter right now, Tanika. Oh, I don't give a fuck. How did he make you fly across the room, Versace? By him hitting me. No man should hit a woman, Tamika. No woman should hit a man. Except he hit me first. No, I didn't. I wouldn't give you my phone. And what was on the phone, Savon? None of your business. Who swung first? She did. He did. Savon, my daughter would not lie to me. Vanessa, you finna piss me off. Versace has staked pregnancies, DNA tests, and eyelashes. Okay, and your son is no damn better. He ain't the worst either. You know what? How could you as a black woman stand there with a black son and tell me and my black daughter that her assault does not matter? Oh, I ain't trying to hear all that black shit. This ain't no BET movie, bitch. Start from the beginning, Versace. He was on his phone texting, and I knew it was another bitch, so I asked for his phone. Okay. Savon, what did you do when she asked for your phone? I ignored her. Oh. And that must have pissed you off, Versace, because how dare he? Right, because I knew he heard me the first time when I asked. So, uh, what happened next? I asked for it again, and he got mad. And then what did he do? He put his hands on me. You lying bitch. Savon, you better watch your damn mouth. Vanessa, I will eat you up right now. Well, bon appetit, bitch. Mom. Mom. Versace press charges. I'm good. Um, 
I think Savon learned his lesson. Hmm, very safe decision, Versace. Press charges, Savon. I'm I'm actually good, Mama. Okay, I'm leaving. So y'all wanna fuck each other up, make it everybody else's problem, and then get back together? It's very much toxic behavior and I don't have time for it. Get it the fuck away from me. Shit, and me. You wanna grab a drink? I guess not. Travis, I need you and the boys to click. And I've been thinking about ways to make that happen. So, a family trip to Six Flags might do the trick. We could try it. Okay. Boys! Good morning. Good morning from the three of us. Oh, so your brothers can't speak for themselves? No, I will be speaking for the three of us. Okay. Well, I'd like all of us to go on a family trip. Me and your mother were thinking about taking you out to Six Flags. We thank you for the invitation, but we will have to politely decline. And why is that? Because, mother. We simply don't have the desire to go. Well, y'all don't have a damn choice. Y'all are going. Mom, did you forget that me and Kyrie are still in high school and can't afford to miss any school? I mean, it just started. This will be happening next weekend. <clears throat> <clears throat> next weekend, we will be at our father's house spending time with him and Karen. Hey, baby. It's okay. They'll come around eventually. You know what? Y'all are not going to your father's house next weekend. Y'all will be spending time with me and Travis. Mom, if you are forcing us to go, then we will. But as stated earlier, we do not have the desire to go. So we will be silent the entire trip. Get the door or get one of your other brothers to do it. <laughs> I'll get it. Why are y'all here? Trust me, I didn't want to come. Then why the fuck did you? Because Tara was driving. I had no choice. Well, you have one right now. Turn your ass around and leave the way you came in. Tamika, we haven't spoken to you in months. So fucking what? We have gone years without speaking. It didn't bother you then. You haven't even had the decency to call and check on mama. She hasn't been much of a decent mother, so why would I be a decent daughter? But you know what? <laughs> Humor me. How is your mother's health? The chemo appears to be working. And you know this because you've gone to each and every appointment with her and held her hand through the process, or that's just what she calls and tells that's you. That's what she calls and tells us, and I believe her. No okay. game. Tamika, stop. I am also here because Brian has been telling me that your little boyfriend, who is five years younger than you, has been really ugly to them. The boys have been disrespectful towards me and I made the mistake of arguing back with them. I'm not innocent, but I've already been addressed. Not that that was any of your business. My sister and her kids are my business. And my responsibility. So you and the other one can leave. My name is Tanya. Oh, I didn't ask what your name was. Tara, you and Tanya can get the hell out of my house now. You know what I will. I really only came to check on my nephews, you know, since you're out here choosing men over them. Better than me choosing men who choose my daughter every time. That was low. I can go lower if you'd like. <laughs> And for the record, I will never 
choose no damn man over my kids on any day of the week. They're just not used to seeing me with a man. No, they're used to seeing me yelling at them for every single fuck up they make. So don't you ever try to charge me up about what goes on in my damn house. I wasn't trying to charge you up. You couldn't, even if you had a damn plug. Now get out. Okay. Because what did they think they was going to come up here and do? Right. We'll go to Six Flags. <laughs> Y'all had no choice in the matter. But I'm glad you came to your senses for your brothers. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen. All three of y'all.